Launch in T-minus 90 seconds and counting. Hmm. Let's see. One small stiff a man. One giant... Oh, hello, Scargazers. You're just in time. My skeleton crew and I are about to blast off for a little space exploration. Care to join us? Good. I hope you're made of the rot stuff. Cause we'll be heading Fright Gears from Terror Firma. Boldly going where no ghoul has gone before. Hey pal, watch the suit or your launch meet. Which is kind of like the man in tonight's tale. He's going places too. Except his destination is a little more earthbound. It's a nasty bit of scarodynamics I call horror in the night. Right, just one security guard now. Okay, let's go. You made me fucking laugh, too. I don't know why we're even putting bullets in the bloody guns. Just trying to be prepared, that's all. Mr. Star said he wanted it real. Mr. Star said he wanted it to look real. You bloody kid, it's a fucking panto we're putting on. Now what your problem is, T. At the end of the day, you're just another job's worth. Working for wages. You're gonna fuck this up, aren't you? Not me, mate. Bleeding professionals. Did I tell you my idea? Do you ever stop talking? You should listen for a change. Aren't you tired of doing someone else's dirty work for crap money? We could do what Mr. Starr's doing. Set up a fake robbery, pocket the insurance money and resell the sparkly elsewhere. 30 seconds. I suggest you shut the fuck up and concentrate. Now, I know what you're thinking, T. How can we do it without Mr. Starr's jewellery stores and organisation? Well, that's why I got a plan B. We keep the jewels. See what I mean? Mr. Star gets something. We get something. Yeah, your tiny fucking mind. Nobody steals from Declan Star and gets away with it. There's always a first time. Jesus, gee, that was a bit of a fucking top, wasn't it? <laughs> hey, Nick. You know that idea of yours? Like, uh, taking the jewels and running? Well, I think you're onto something. Maybe that'll shut you up.
caliber. I need a room. Twenty-five pounds a night, sir. I know you from somewhere. Maybe. I've been here a long time. I don't want to be disturbed. Comprende? We run a very discreet establishment, sir. No one will even know you're here. A lift just around the corner, sir. Nick, sir. It's Nick. Listen, I need a favor. Who the fuck is this? It's Nick. Nick who? Nick Marvin, you sorry excuse. But... The number you have dialed has not been recognized. Please check your number and try again.
Hey! Anyone around? Hey! Hey, wait a minute! Thank you. <laughs> What's so funny? Sorry. I'm easily amused these days. What? Nothing. Don't take it personally. From where I'm at, everything seems a little funny. Oh, I'll bet. And I tell you what, sweetheart. If I wasn't feeling so under the weather, I'd be happy to amuse you all night. You that good? Darling, I could amuse you today. That'd be a neat trick. You all right? I'm all right. leave you to bleed to death now, could I? Mind if I sit down? Poor thing. Needed a shower to get all the blood off. I hope you don't mind. What happened? I couldn't just leave you there down in the lobby to bleed to death now, could I? Me and Lou brought you up. Lou, the night man. You mind if I sit down? Is that your car parked up the street? Why? I hope it wasn't. Cops hold it away. They were swarming all over here. Shit. Lou was cool, though. Said no one checked in since yesterday. You're lucky. The bullet went right through. You just got to rest, Nick. How did you know my name was Nick? You told me while I was undressing you. I like that part. <laughs> did you? You got a name? Do I need one? I gotta get out of here. You will. Hello?
darling? You okay? You hungry? I got you a sandwich. You okay? Must be the fever. I'm in these weird dreams. Hallucinations. What you need is a drink. I hope you like red. I found this great little burgundy. It's a little rough around the edges, but then again, aren't we all? Where'd you find a place open at this hour? I know all those neighborhood secrets. Am I drinking alone? Makes you think I need help. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's the hole in your shoulder. The cops crawling all over your car before they towed it away. Or maybe it's the way you never take your eyes off that briefcase. What do you have in mind? You need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. How about we get out of here together? And how are we going to do that? We go downstairs. We get in my Mercedes. And we drive. You don't even know me. What if I'm a really bad man? Oh, I'm sure you are. The thing is, it turns me on. What are you doing in this shit, old girl? Something happened a while ago. I made someone unhappy. A guy? How'd you guess? There's always a guy in these stories. He sent someone to hurt me. Do you want all the gory details? I'll use my imagination. Oh, God. I wish I could turn mine off. I'm sick of this place. Help me get out of here, Nick. I'm so... I'm so thirsty. Help me forget, Nick. Forget. Anything you want, baby. <clears throat>
Who are you? What do you want with me? You still don't remember, do you, Nick? Remember what? You're doing this, aren't you? Why are you doing this? What have I ever done to you? It's funny, that's exactly what I said to you five years ago. <laughs> five years? <laughs> Laura Kendall. It's nice to see you, Nick. Shoulders healing. Okay. Looks like they're all here, Mr. Star. You know something? This is the same place that me and Nick did that job for Dominic Kendall a couple of years ago. It was a hit, right? He caught Kendall's wife with a driver. What was her name? Laura. Yeah, she was shaking when we came in the door. Nick fucking massacred them. <laughs> nice place to hide out. How did you know he was there, Mr. Star? Got a call with some woman. Said she knew I was looking for Nick. Told me where I'd find him. Woman, eh? Guess Nick wasn't prepared for that. You get that feeling. 